we are just over a month away from the release of WWE 2K23. And if you haven't already pre-ordered, you're probably wondering which version should I get. Or maybe you already pre-ordered and you're having regrets and maybe you want to switch what version you got. I'm going to try to help you out today and break down every single version, what each version offers. I'll even tell you which version I think is the most worth it. So we're talking about everything, even breaking down the prices. We will get right into that, but make sure you drop a like. Comment down below which version of the game are you getting. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I drop a video. Oh, and by the way, if you're looking for tickets on SeatGeek, make sure you use code WrestleSpot for $20 off your first purchase. But without further ado, hit the intro. Up first, we got the standard edition or the cross-gen bundle. Now, this version includes, if you pre-order, you get Bad Bunny as a playable character. And you also get one Ruby Bad Bunny My Faction card. I don't know how much people value My Faction. It should have more replay value than last year because this year's My Faction mode will be online as well. A little thing about the cross-gen, so let's say you're on PlayStation 4 and you plan on getting PlayStation 5 within the next year or so. Go ahead and buy the cross-gen bundle. It comes with both past gen which is ps4 and the next gen version of the game which is ps5 or xbox one xbox series s you know what i mean so who should buy this game if you're new to wwe games and you don't want to like dive too much into everything going on this might be the version for you and if you're someone that just likes playing exhibition picking up the controller playing the game play now definitely get standard version especially if you don't care for the dlc and all that but also keep in mind about this version you can always go back and get dlc packs i just don't I think they come out at a later date if you didn't get the deluxe or icon version. But just keep that in mind if you end up wanting to go back and get those DLC packs. I don't blame you if you waited out with the standard version. That's actually not a bad idea at all. But that about does it for the standard edition. Let's get to the deluxe edition. Now the deluxe edition cover includes John Cena in his Doctor of Thugonomics era holding the United States Championship. This is my favorite cover out of the three that are shown. They offer a physical copy of this edition as well so that's really cool. Now what is included in the deluxe edition? Let's talk about it. Playable Bad Bunny character and his my faction card and you get both editions from a current gen console and your choice of next gen console early access because the regular edition releases on march 17th but the deluxe and icon editions release march 14th of this year what is also included in the deluxe edition is the season pass that is five dlc packs last year you had people such as ronda rousey the hurricane stacy keebler umaga made his return to WWE games. You never know who could be in these packs. Also includes a My Rise Mega Boost, which is basically, if you're familiar with NBA 2K, it's VC to upgrade your wrestler in the My Career Mode, basically. Supercharger is basically everything that you would have to unlock playing the regular version is already unlocked for you. And there is a lot of My Faction perks this year. With one Ruby John Cena My Faction Evo card, get one Emerald Bianca Belair My Faction card, one gold Asuka, one gold Edge, and then three basic premium launch My Faction packs. Now, if you're a diehard of the game, this might be the version for you, mainly for those five DLC packs, especially people who like community creations and all that. Let's say you want to download a AEW John Moxley, but it doesn't have all the moves you need, and you can't download them because you have the regular version, but in order to get those moves you want, you need those DLC packs. You have to buy the packs to get access to those moves. Depending on how important early access is to you, that might be a factor for if you want to get this version or not. If the only thing that intrigues you about that version over the standard version is three days, try to tough it out. If you're into everything about that version, especially the DLC packs, then go ahead, get this version. This version is $99.99 with tax probably rough you out about to 110 US dollars. But that is it for the deluxe edition. Get into the icon edition. Now the icon edition includes everything that was included in both standard and deluxe edition along with ruthless aggression content playable prototype john cena character prototype john cena my faction card playable leviathan batista playable throwback randy orton playable throwback brock lesnar and those are those three are from like their ovw days you get a john cena legacy championship belt in the game and you get the wrestlemania 22 arena another subsection listed as icon edition content you get one emerald paul Heyman manager my faction card and three deluxe premium launch my faction packs so they are very heavy on the my faction this year along with the deluxe and icon edition packs again i don't know how valuable i found my faction should have a lot more replay value this year because it's online but that's what's in each edition recently i think the best deal is the deluxe edition at least for the way i play the game because i don't see myself using the leviathan batista the john Cena prototype old brock lesnar just with the way i play the games personally for me the deluxe edition is probably the best bang for your buck 
it's 100 while the icon edition is 120 dollars but for the diehard fans i do think icon edition is the best way to go it has a bunch of extra stuff that the deluxe edition doesn't have especially if you're going to be in playing my rise this year deluxe premium launch my fashion packs i don't know exactly what could be in there yet that wrestlemania 22 arena does sound cool legacy belt but if you care about the ruthless aggression content maybe go for this one because there's a lot in there but personally again i might go with the deluxe edition but that's going to bring us to the end of this video today expect a lot of wwe 2k23 content on my page as soon as the game drops and if i was any help to you today make sure to drop a like comment let me know what version you're getting did i change your mind are you sticking with your gut or are you not getting the game at all i hope you do because i want to have fun with y'all in there this year yeah let me know which version y'all are getting let me know your favorite part of the video let me know what kind of wwe 2k23 videos y'all want if you haven't already hit subscribe turn that bell notification so you get notified every time i drop a wwe 2k23 video or just a video at all come check out the podcast they're very fun and interactive we love talking to y'all a lot of fun but without further ado thank you for watching be safe